Good morning everyone from our hotel here in Vic. This is the fourth day of our stay here in Iceland. Today our final destination is Cities Fjordor. That's where we're gonna stay for the night. But as we drive along the way, we'll check out this canyon. It's hard to pronounce, but I'll put it on the bottom of this screen. And then uh, Jokorsalon, a glacier in Diamond Beach. I've heard it's a pretty nice drive to Cities Fjordor. We arrive in this beautiful small town of Vic in the evening and this is what you'll see around our apartment. We've been driving more than 30 minutes and uh, probably we'll get there to the canyon in less than uh, 30 minutes. Actually, there is a weather forecast of storm, uh, gale force winds that is gonna affect the whole south of Iceland, southwest and southeast. We are in southeast right now, but we're driving north. Hopefully, we won't be affected by that gale force wind. And for the past few days, it's been raining, so this is just normal <laughs> now here in Iceland. We're on the dirt road, it's bumpy, but we're almost there. <laughs> and then to the parking lot, and we're gonna hike, uh, maybe just a short hike. For all of you Justin Bieber fans out there, this is where Justin Bieber made one of his music videos. So we're going up a little bit to a different vantage point. Your course Arlon is a glacier lagoon where giant chunks of ice float in front of a glacier backdrop called Breidamerkur Jukut, glacial tongue. These icebergs, when they cracked off the glacier, they appear initially with a deep blue color, but after a few hours in the sun, the outer layer melts turning the surface white. Icebergs grow darker as they age due to the sediments that accumulate and stays even when the ice melts. Icebergs slowly decrease in size until they are finally small enough for the current to carry them up the short Yorkosa River and out to the Atlantic, with most of them drifting to the nearby Diamond Beach. Icebergs of various sizes lay stranded in this fine black powder beach. Many of these icebergs have been tumbled by currents and waves, leaving them shiny and smooth, transparent like diamonds others white and occasionally blue. This area is notorious for sneaker waves so don't wait on water. We plan to just drive straight to Cities Fjordor, 
but then we can't help it. The view is really nice and it's so unique. That is different. There's not much vegetation. I think in the lower part is some weeds, but moss a little bit, but it's just like sand and gravel. It might be a danger of a uh, landslide. Yeah. So, two hours and 13 minutes to go according to Google Maps towards our final destination for the night. And there's no rain, there's no, uh, it's not windy. It's nice, though there's no sun, it's but it's sun. really nice here. Vatna Jorkot is Iceland's and Europe's biggest glacier. By area, it is larger than the state of Delaware, and it is also home to Iceland's tallest mountain at 6,900 feet. As we approached the eastern fjords, we stopped over to take in the view. Okay, so this is road 939. It's uh, not the ring road. If we take the ring road, it's a long distance, but this is a shortcut, I think. We're just enjoying the view. There's a bridge on top of the mountain. It's my turn. I'm the first to get closer to the bridge. It's a one lane bridge. We're almost at the top. We're not at the top yet, huh? There's still more to go. I thought we're on the top of the mountain already. It's raining, it's windy, and we're on top of the mountain. That makes it even worse. But I have a 4x4, so I, I'll be fine. I've seen, well, the car in front of me is a sedan, and I, uh, the other one that just passed by is also a sedan, so I think, I think we're good. This will be another uh, 43 kilometers and then before we connect to the uh, ring road. Oh wow, it's a concrete road back to civilization. <laughs> so this will make it faster. It's 90 kilometers per hour. This is the town of Sidisfjordor. It is artistic, colorful, and has a fine harbor, a port for the car ferry that runs to Denmark and the Faroe Island. And this is our home for the night. Just walking along the lake here in uh, 
next to this fjord door. It's just a relaxing stroll after a long drive. About six hours and a half. That's it for now. Please like and subscribe to help with the YouTube algorithm and so that this will reach others who like contents like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will know when the next video will be released. See you on our next episode, Northern Iceland. And more waterfalls. Thank you for watching.